Hi, I'm Ali Awanazi, staff writer at PWM. Over the last few years, AI has been the main talk in almost every industry, and the wealth management sector is no stranger to this. According to ThoughtLab, a US think tank, 69% of wealth management executives agree that AI will significantly change the way their organizations work over the next three to five years. At this year's Innovation and Wealth Management Summit, industry leaders, experts, and commentators assess the impact AI will have on the industry itself. I spoke to David Schreier, Professor of Practice at Imperial College London, who told me that the industry is not yet ready to fully embrace AI, and that this may pose a problem. Unfortunately, industry is not as prepared to adopt AI as it should be. And if it doesn't, there will be disruptors who will come in who are embracing AI, uh, who will steal market share. AI could be tremendously transformative for the wealth management industry, particularly in the middle and back office functions, and also in client enablement, in enabling wealth managers, portfolio managers, relationship managers, private clients, executives, to better serve their clients. So you're not gonna eliminate the human being from the equation, but people who know how to work with AI are going to displace people who don't. While Professor Schreier highlighted the threat of disruptors entering the market, he also underscored the inherent risks associated with AI, suggesting a need for caution and careful consideration. In a recently published academic paper by 25 experts, including Jeffrey Hinton and Yoshio Bengio, two of the three godfathers of AI who have won the ACM Turing Award, the computer science equivalent of the Nobel Prize for their work, argued, and I quote, Society's response, despite promising first steps, is incommensurate with the possibility of rapid, transformative progress that is expected by many experts. AI safety research is lagging. Present governance initiatives lack the mechanisms and institutions to prevent misuse and recklessness and barely address autonomous systems. They also warn that AI could lead to the marginalization or extinction of humanity. Some pretty stark words there. Here's what Professor Schreier had to say about the risks posed by AI. There are several risks around AI. Uh, the most salient risk is, is cultural risk, is mindset shift. So the barrier to firms taking advantage of AI technology is not the technology. It is the people within the firm being slow to adopt the technology and use it properly. So that's the first risk. It's a, a human capital risk. The second risk, closely related, is a cybersecurity risk. So for more than two thirds of cybersecurity breaches are due to human error or action rather than to technology. That's going to be worse in the age of AI. The third risk is improper implementation of AI. So we need to have human in the loop AI. We need people to make sure that the decisions being made by the AIs are correct and proper and compliant. Um, and so what people sometimes do is they either trust AI too little, and so they have what's called algorithm aversion, they won't listen to the AI, or they trust it too much. They put on autopilot and they crash into a wall. We need to have a balance, and that requires AI literacy. So the common theme across all of the risks is human capital and getting people smarter about what AI can do and what it can't do. Now, the industry itself tends to latch on to traditional ways of thinking. But can it take inspiration from other sectors? Professor Schreier believes so. The wealth management industry absolutely can benefit from the learnings of other industries. So, so wealth management itself tends to operate on a, a fairly bespoke and uh, antiquated model of business management and has a lot of technology and processes that, that involve a lot of legacy. So you have a lot of tech debt and you have a lot of process and human capital debt. And so if you look at how other industries have transformed with technology, whether it's high tech or pharmaceuticals or healthcare, which is another sort of regulated industry that has embraced AI, you can take some of those lessons and translate them into financial services. The wealth management industry is at a pivot point in its history. When we did the analysis on AI, its impact on industries and various businesses and corporations, we found that financial services, that wealth management was the most potentially affected by artificial intelligence. The number one job category that could be displaced by AI is the economist. So I did this report with Evercore ISI, the investment bank, and we looked at the impacts of AI on jobs. Uh, and we found that financial services, wealth management, uh, a lot of the financial analysts, a lot of these roles that people have migrated into that are high value, highly compensated, are in fact also most at risk for disruption from AI. While wealth management professionals seem generally optimistic about AI, 
the technology may put some out of business. Ultimately, it's the younger generations that will have a say. According to ThoughtLab, 60% of millennial and Gen Z individual investors expect that AI may supersede the need for a human advisor by 2030. As Professor Schreier said, the wealth management industry is at a pivot point in its history. Only time will tell how AI will fully impact the industry itself.